Prince Harry has admitted, no one around me could really help. He had no support network after he returned from war in Afghanistan and it triggered the trauma of losing his mother Princess Diana, in another apparent sly dig at the royal family. Harry made the admission in his new Netflix docuseries Heart of Invictus, which follows a group of athletes on their road to the Paralympic-style sporting competition The Invictus Games, which Harry set up in 2014 for injured and sick military personnel and veterans. In the second of five episodes, several of the former service personnel talk about the mental toll of war with Harry also being asked about how his tours of Afghanistan affected him. And he says he didn't have that support structure, that network or that expert advice to identify actually what was going on with me, after admitting he was angry when he returned from a tour of duty. He also claims that returning from Afghanistan triggered unresolved trauma caused by the tragic death of his mother Diana in 1997, when Harry was just 12 and that he only considered therapy once he was left, lying on the floor in the fetal position. In what appears to be yet another swipe at his royal relatives, Harry says, Look, I can only speak for my personal experience, my tour of Afghanistan in 2012 flying Apaches, somewhere after that there was an unraveling and the trigger for me was actually returning from Afghanistan. But the stuff that was coming up was from 1997, from the age of 12, losing my mum at such a young age, the trauma that I had I was never really aware of, it was never discussed, I didn't really talk about it, and I suppressed it like most youngsters would have done but when it all came fizzing out I was bouncing off the walls, I was like what is going on here, I am now feeling everything as opposed to being numb. The biggest struggle for me is no one around me could really help. I didn't have that support structure that network or that expert advice to identify what was actually going on with me. Unfortunately, like most of us the first time you really consider therapy is when you are lying on the floor in the fetal position probably wishing you had dealt with some of this stuff previously and that's what I really want to change. Elsewhere in the first 45-minute episode of the series, Army veteran Harry, who undertook two tours of Afghanistan, discusses how he never wanted to serve in the armed forces as a father. The Duke, who is father to Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, chatting during a hike with his friends, former Invictus competitors JJ Chalmers and David Wiseman, said, I've always had myself down as being the dad that I could never be serving while having kids. And you both did, right? It's never the individual signing up it's the whole family signing up. Harry is then seen sitting in a chair, facing the camera, saying, here we are. An interviewer asks, what's your name? And the Duke replies, my name's Harry. He is then asked, what do you do, Harry? And the Duke replies, what do I do? Uh, on any given day, I'm a dad of two under three-year-olds. I've got a couple of dogs. I'm a husband. I'm founding patron of Invictus Games Foundation. There's lots of hats that one wears, but I believe today is all about Invictus. Meanwhile, Megan first appears in the show in behind-the-scenes footage from November 2021 when the couple attended the Salute to Freedom Gala in New York. Harry confides in his wife about his nerves as they walk hand-in-hand -hand along a red carpet into the event, saying, we haven't done this in a while. Megan, dressed in a red Carolina Herrera gown, replies, I know. Harry adds, my heart. I'm like, making a noise like a rapid heartbeat, I'm nervous. The Duke is also shown anxiously pacing around a room as he waits to take to the stage at the gala which honored military veterans. Harry's eagerly awaited Heart of Invictus was released on Netflix today, August 30th, with all five episodes of the DOCU series dropping at once. It's been a long wait for fans eager to learn more about his passion project, as the show was announced more than two years ago back in April 2021. Heart of Invictus follows a group of competitors from around the globe in the Invictus Games. All athletes are service members who have experienced life-changing injuries or illnesses before taking part in the delayed Invictus Games in The Hague last year. Harry is executive producer of the series, which forms part of the Sussex multi-million pound deal with Netflix, with their main output so far being last year's controversial Harry and Meghan documentary. The six-part series last December saw the couple shed light on their troubled life within the royal family, 
and accuse Kensington Palace of lying at the Megzi summit to protect Harry's brother William, and father Charles, now King. The Duke of Sussex created the Invictus Games in 2013, with the inaugural competition taking place a year later. Speaking about the upcoming series, Harry previously said, Heart of Invictus is the incredible story of competitors brought together through service, who are now united through sport. While in various stages of recovery from both visible and invisible injuries, these competitors and their loved ones give a compelling look at their journey to the Invictus Games, in a way that commands admiration and respect. He added, Our Invictus Games community represents some of the bravest and most dedicated individuals from 23 nations across the globe. This year's Games, which begin September 9th in Dusseldorf, Germany, will last for eight days. Both Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle will be in attendance, with the Duchess of Sussex set to make an appearance for the second half of the annual contest. In a statement from Archwell earlier this month, the couple's post-royal organization, the pair's attendance was confirmed, with a spokesperson for the couple saying they were both delighted to be attending. Meghan is set to join her husband on September 11th, with the couple attending the closing ceremony on the 19th together.